Hey guys, Richard here from Romantic Missions doing day 23 of the 30 day true love challenge with Love You Mentory and Nate. It's only one week left. Yeah, seven days. Seven days. Seven days. I can't do it properly. Anyway, uh, so today's day was really long. For some reason, I woke up, went to, got to work early, got to decline about before 8 o'clock even. It's pretty crazy. But a few good things happened to me today, like I guess. Um, and in the elevator ride, this lady started talking to me about um, Fantails, which is this candy we have in Australia. I'm not sure if the States have it. But basically, it's a chocolate casing with caramel inside. And, you know, it's a tough caramel or toffee-like, right? So you bite down and just, you know, you basically can't open your teeth to talk afterwards. It just takes a lot of effort, and that's what happened to her. And she was just, like, reliving that, I guess, forgotten memory of what happens when you bite down on it. And she was just sharing that with me in the elevator. Which is pretty cool. I thought that was nice. Uh, the other good thing was uh, I joined Toastmasters, my first Toastmasters group, so that's really exciting. Getting finally getting on that, as well as uh, I was listening to this uh, Love and Passion, uh, the Ultimate Relationship Program by Tony Robbins, and you know he was hinting on this point about how in a relationship you need what is it to fulfill six. Uh, main needs in a relationship, right? Then being certain, one being certainty, two being significance, right? They have to feel significant in the in the relationship. Three that they have to feel variety, right? So it has to be surprises, that kind of stuff. Um, four having love and connection. Uh, five ha five being growth. So the pe you know the p people. I mean the people. The two p um, parties feel like they're growing. That you know emotionally spiritually that kind of stuff and the sixth one is contribution right and it's like doing more i guess let's see how he describes it right going the desire to go beyond at your my own needs to give to others and thinking about this i started thinking a lot about wow you know um a lot of the time when i look back at my relationships i think you know i gave them everything i i, I could and but just never what they needed, and I never could tell what they really, really did need, right? And that's then that's why I, I'm in the situation that I am, and I give them everything but what they need. So having a look at this, I mean, like now I just want to spend some time thinking about going back to it and going, hmm, what was I missing? What did I not see, right, that they needed so much that I never gave it? And it's a problem, right, that's been plaguing me. And you know, I'm really interested to see, well, even just to learn from this and then apply it and then also start showing, te teaching people with this because this stuff's important, right? Not many people know this. And, you know, just to bring it across to that and then merging it in ways that are special. So that's my learnings today, guys. Um, thanks for following. Um, as always, comments below. Likes, as always, is the is the best. And, you know, I'll hear back from you guys soon. Otherwise, tune in tomorrow for day 24 as we count down the, to the last week of the challenge. Thanks, guys. Bye.